Good morning, everybody. Orange Jay here with another Sword of Convalaria video, and today we're talking all about Terra Whispers in Sword of Convalaria. Terra Whispers are that third gear slot on your character. The first two gear slots, your weapon and your accessory slash armor, we already did a video on that. Go check that video out. That's a whole different system. Terra Whispers work very, very differently, and some of it, unfortunately, is very RNG. If you're familiar with like gear systems and your Honkai Star Rails of the world, your Zinless Zone Zeros of the world, well, buckle up because you're going to find this system to be very familiar. I will say at least it's only Terra Whispers, but let me walk you through it. Now, the first thing I want to do is give you a little tip to where you can find a lot of legendary Terra Whispers. You can see at rank 30, I already have 10 of these things. The majority of those 10 have come from the Cornucopia Battle Pass. Now, you will get some freebie random Terra Whispers in here, but if you buy the bottom half of this thing, you get a lot. You can see right here at rank 50, I get the one free one and five more random ones. You want as many of these things as you can. For one, they're probably the most important piece of gear that your character wears because they give like percent stat increases. In fact, let me throw, not my face, the game without my face on it on the screen for a second right here and show you an example. Here is the Terra Whisper that my barrel is currently wearing. Dream of the Magician. Increases your damage by 8% and when casting skills for each additional hit on one enemy, the damage dealt goes up. Obviously, if you play Barrel, you can see why this is a really good Tarot Whisper for her. But if I click this Enhance button, over here on the left, you'll see at the first break point, I got Magic Attack up 73. Okay, that's cool. The second one, I got Magic Attack percent, 8%. The third one at level 45, I will get max HP up 8%. Here's the stats. Now, let's go back. I happen to have another Dream of the Magician Legendary. Click on that for a, excuse me, click on that for a second. If I click back and forth, you will see the stats do not change. So there's no RNG in the base stats on this thing. The skill doesn't change, so there's no RNG on that. However, if I click Enhance, you will see some differences. One, this flat magic attack is still flat magic attack. However, it's an epic colored dot over here on the left instead of a legendary colored dot, and it's only 66 magic attack when compared to the 73 from this first one. However, both of them have a legendary yo know, dot right here on the second one. This one has magic attack 8% as a legendary substat. This one has magic attack 9% as a legendary substat. So I would actually argue this one might be better because you're getting another flat percent over a few more flat stat. However, I don't know. I would have to like actually do the math on that, but then things get really weird. Here you could see a silver substat at level 45 that gives physical defense five percent we're on the one barrels wearing now it's another legendary substat that will give max hp eight percent and max hp eight percent is probably a lot better than physical defense five percent so you can see there is some rng here and that's where we get to duplicates of these things in this game because let me just give you a couple pieces of advice right now that i've shown you that one invest in your legendaries invest in your legendaries if you can however unlike gear in this game there is a much better return on investment for your epics like here's an epic dream of the magician if i click enhance right here you can see that there's only three substats now none of those three substats as i throw my face off the screen are legendaries and in fact if i go through my epic you know pieces of gear here no legendaries there we'll click on the next one any legendaries there no it looks like these really only have up to epic substats on them whereas your legendaries are going to have those legendary substats on them at least sometimes or in this case all four times so that's one of the reasons why you want to be investing in your legendaries but if you really want to run Dream of the Magician on somebody, like a barrel, but you don't happen to have a legendary version of it, if I click Enhance right here and level this thing up to 10, I'm just going to do it right here. I'm going to level it to 10. It took 306 dust and 612 gold. If I go to the breakdown here and I break that thing down, I will actually get 334 of the dust back and 146 gold. Now that 334 dust is a little bit misleading because for every one of these I break down, I'll get 120 just for like a level one. But still that means I'm getting 214 
of the 306 I invested into it back, which is about a 70% return on investment. So if you have to level up some epic, um, some epic of these, some epic, what do you want to call it here? Tarot whispers, you actually will get 70% of your investment back which is good. That also means if you level a suboptimal legendary piece, like say I leveled this tarot, the this one, the dream, this dream of the magician, I leveled this thing all the way to like 50 because my account was at that point. Then I got my better one to drop and I was like, ooh, I got one with like four legendary substats on it. I'm gonna level that one. I could break this one down and get 75% of the tarot essence and Elysium coins that I'd spit on it back to use to reinvest. So the system is better in that way, where if you invest in some things early that are suboptimal, you can at least get a lot of that back, but the system is very RNG dependent. So you're gonna want a bunch of duplicates here. And in fact, there's not even a duplicate system for Terra Whispers. Like if I click enhance right here on Dream of the Magician, you'll see there's nowhere here for me to like consume a Dream of the Magician duplicate to level up the, um, the skill on it. The only way to level up the skill on Terra Whispers is take them to max level. Once you take them to max level, the skill evolves. Like here, for example, the increased damage dealt jumps from 8% to 16%. So it's a big power boost when you get a legendary one of these all the way to max level, which I believe is 60. So when you get one of these all the way leveled up, that's how you'll level up the skill, not by consuming duplicates. So instead what you're doing with your duplicates is hoping to catch one with better substats. Now here you can see I have two Mercy of the High Priestess. Let's go look at those. I'm gonna throw my face off the screen for a second. This level 21 has legendary, bra epic, epic, legendary. Okay, this level one one has four legendaries. So let me go ahead and advance this one. This is one I'm going to use because this is a healing boosting one. I'm going to level this to 20. That's 970 of my dust, whatever. I have physical attack 78, physical defense 6%. If I go look at my other level 21, I have magic defense 46 and magic attack 2%. Obviously, if I'm talking about a unit like my Inanna, who's somebody who's going to wear one of those, these two things are not equal, right? This one with its physical attack, physical defense, physical defense is okay. Physical attack sucks for her. For now, this one would be better. Magic defense and magic attack. She does magic attack, but this is far from optimal because this magic attack is only like an epic node. And so I could get a better one later. And maybe I invest into this one a little more and the level 35 stat is like really good for her it's super RNG. So you're gonna wanna collect several duplicates of these, level them, and you might get some trash ones that you end up just having to like break down or save as like kind of an emergency piece if you're running two characters in the same squad that might both want to run the same one. So that's the breakdown of Terra Whispers. Very, very different, very, very random. Let's go look at another one I have real quick. I have duplicates of Desire for Temperance. Now, Desire for Temperance is a Terra Whisper that gives a shield at the start of battle uh, that's a mix of your physical attack, magic attack. A very generically good Terra Whisper, right? Shield, like survivability, once you get to harder content in this game, stuff will one-shot the heck out of you. So having a shield on somebody like a Gloria or something like that, not too bad. In fact, this is what my Gloria has been running. Not optimal, but there's a lot of characters in the game that wouldn't mind a shield. However, let's go look at my substats. Let me get my face off the screen again. I got two of these. This one right here has epic substat, legendary, 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 physical attack 62, magic attack 79. So two flat attackers, not terrible substats for this because you could throw this piece now onto anybody you just wanted to have a shield. And as long as they were attacking, at least they're getting buffed. Let's go look at the other one that I have. It has physical attack 72, and then let's reveal the second one here. I'm just, I'm wasting some stuff right here, but it, you know, it's for content. We're, we're doing this for the video. I get a physical attack percentage. So now this one is instantly so much better for Gloria because I want my Gloria doing damage. Let's see what this changes on her. So if I jump over to Gloria and I can throw my face back on the screen now, if I jump over to Gloria, Previously, she was wearing this one with physical attack 62, magic attack 79. Her attack right now is 1048. Let's switch her to the other version of the same one, which was 
do do do. I leveled it to 20, didn't I? Or did I level a different thing to 20? Uh, nope. We're, it's right here. Boom. So let's switch to this percent base one. Equip it. Back off. She's now at 1058. So I gained some attack right there. What did I lose? Some magic attack. But who cares about magic attack on Gloria? I'd rather have that 10 physical attack or that, you know, 8% physical attack. Great. Okay, so that's the game you're playing when you're level in Terra Whispers. It's very RNG, but again, at least it's only Terra Whispers. It's not your weapons and your armor. It's just Terra Whispers, and there you go. So I hope that clarified a bunch of things. Again, you can break down your epic Terra Whispers and get that 70% of whatever you put into them back, which I think is a really good thing, especially if you're not buying the Battle Pass and getting yourself lots of legendaries right now. You will eventually be able to farm legendaries, but those stages are a little bit in the future and very hard. You will need gear leveled up to farm those stages, in my opinion. So at least with Terra Whispers, it's super RNG, but you can level epics and get 70% of what you put in back. That's the video. There's my face. Okay, thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.